Hey guys, Jacob here with a product spotlight video for you guys today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys our ZZ-0097 uh, O-ring, which is for the high pressure oil pumps on the 94 to 03 7.3 liter power stroke rear cover. So as you guys may know, uh, the 7.3 liter power stroke pa platform has a rear cover here that's held in by a snap ring. Uh, per Ford, this is a non-serviceable O-ring that is in behind this cover. Uh, we have taken care of that problem for you guys, and we have a replacement O-ring that fixes the issue back here if you do have a leak issue from your rear cover. The older these trucks get, these O-rings are failing, and sometimes it's just the O-ring, and the only other option is to replace the entire pump, according to Ford. So uh, I'm going to show you guys real quick in a quick demonstration how our uh, O-ring gets replaced in these uh, so that you guys know how to do it yourself. Uh, this job can be done in the truck, obviously, uh, if the pump is sitting in the truck, it's sitting in there, as you can see, like this uh, with your gear. Uh, sometimes you can't access it completely. Uh, so if you take your crossover bridge out here and you can't get to your cover, you may have to pop the pump out to change this. And you're going to take your snap ring pliers, go in here um, and pop out this here snap ring uh, and get it removed from the back cover. Once that is done, uh, you're going to take the the optional tool that you can get from us it's like a giant suction cup place it on the back cover like so uh, and you're going to have to work it back and forth uh, these things don't always grab the very first time sometimes you'll have to clean the surface uh, sometimes you'll even have to use a pick to help along the side of it i didn't take this one apart just to show you guys that they can be difficult and don't always come right off so now that i've got my pick i'm going to show you how we'll go about this take a little bit of spit um, and lick your finger, wipe it on your actual suction cup end, put your suction cup end on here. What we found that works the best on these things is don't center the suction cup, actually go offset to one side a little bit as you can see here. Make sure you press all the way down on that thing and then you're gonna use your pick to get under the corner kind of over by your offset suctioned area and pick at that thing at the same time as walking it out. You got to be very careful. Don't get crazy about it, and the thing will come right out for you. Um, if you're having issues, though, and it does not want to come out due to corrosion, which can happen in around here, it is a cast aluminum piece, uh, take a little ball peen hammer and lightly tap around the edges of this. Do not smack it, nothing crazy like that. You can just lightly tap on there, try to break any debris or anything up that might be in there, and then go about it again with your pick and your suction cup. Um, once you have that cover out, you're actually going to clean up this area in here and clean up the back cover, which I'm going to do here in just a second. I'm going to pop the O-ring out and show you how that's replaced. Once everything's clean, you're going to take your pick, get under that thing, get that thing out of there, like so. And once it's removed, I always recommend taking a little bit of brake clean again and putting it down in that groove as much as possible. You're going to take our ZZ-0097 O-ring. You're going to place it into your original groove. Obviously, you can see that it fits a lot different than the one here. Uh, this one is actually from sitting there so long. It's actually square. Probably the reason it wasn't sealing up anymore. And then you're going to take your backing plate. Make sure you have it in properly. There is going to be a little bit of tension and pressure here. Uh, so this is where it can get tricky inside the vehicle. So you're going to take your snap ring pliers. Squeeze your snap ring together and get it started in there. Now, when it comes down to this part here, like I said, you've got a little bit of pressure there. It usually is going to take a second set of hands, even outside of the vehicle, uh, to, to apply enough pressure here on this to get it in. So I'm actually going to get one of our guys to help us here, and I'm going to show you. So with a helper here, I'm going to push the snap ring in. We're going to apply pressure downwards and get that snap ring to go into place. All right, so I also want to show you guys that if you have a helper and you can't get it snapped in, find a socket that you guys have. Make sure the socket fits on the snap ring once it's down in there. The uh, snap ring is not seated in the groove yet, it's just laying in there and tight. You're going to set it up there, you're going to take a small hammer, you're going to smack it like so, and it's going to seat your um, snap ring in. 
So that is how you guys replace the rear cover seal on your H-Pop for your 94 to 03 7.3 liter power strokes. Uh, you can find that seal on our website. Uh, it is part number ZZ-0097 on ZZDiesel.com. And if you have any questions about that, give us a call and we can help you out. Our number is 800-749-0688.